All right, we're good to go. Let's turn off auto pause. We have auto save on. Everything is good. We have a merchant, finally. Come up to my sky rectangle. All right, fine. He's just going to hang out there. Well, I've got a... Oh, he's got some things. Repair kits, but we don't have broken stuff. Fool's gold. It's a... Yo-yo. A scooter. Equipable. It's interesting. We also have mining shirt. I'm not sure what the mining equipment does. Shurikens. Otherwise, we've got like a bug net. A mining helmet, which is straight up probably the most valu valuable thing I can get right now. To sell that back to him. Uh, let's sell the weird zombie arm to him. As well, he has no interest in it, then it goes into the trash. But no. I could sell it, it just didn't want to be sold for some reason. Uh, let's see, what else does he have? He's got like a bug net, but I don't care too much about it. Do I have enough money? No, I don't have enough for anything else. Well, that's fine. Mainly, now I can just see. Buy the scooter. Uh, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can grab enough random guff. To, so, let's let's grab the zealous tomato head. And some of this other stuff. This guy really needs to get inside the base. Okay, there. Now we can buy the scooter. Which is a mount. I don't remember how to use a mount. It's not E, it's not Q. Uh, settings. Controls. Uh, quick, quick mount is Y. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> ah, ah, wheelies! Suck it, universe! I'm magic! <laughs> okay. So, in the grand scheme of things, this thing is downright amazingly dumb. Alright, we have this, like, dumb double desert situation going on. Alright, so main goal for today... Oh, I can mine on this thing. Oh, that's weird. I wonder, I wonder if it uh, if it has a standard width of two. Yeah, I can just straight up uh, adventure around on the scooter for the rest of the game. I mean, it doesn't seem like it has any changes for gameplay. Okay, swimming on the scooter doesn't work so hot. The everything else works. Wait, do we find ourselves in jungle? It looks kind of jungly. Kill the cactite with my endless spray of ooh. I'm just going to be eternally happy that I've got that mining helmet already. Let's see, what class am I gonna play? I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to waffle on it based on like how far I'm I am in the game. I'm sure by the end of it I'll have like an actual opinion on uh on what I wanna be, but like early Terraria, you take what you can get. And Pretty much, you're stuck with it. Oh, I guess I never got rid of that tomato face, did I? Oh, that's okay. At some point, I'll I'll make like a proper decision on on what I what I want to be. But right now, it's just like, well, uh, everything wants to kill me, and I have like minimal ways of fighting back. So instead, uh, just whatever. Uh, I can't get up there. Be nice if I could jump out of water, I guess. Oh, what's this? Warm. Oh, uh, right. I forgot about the weather debuffs. That'll be interesting. So I have installed, I believe, like, one more mod. Two more mods. I, I got an alchemist NPC, and I also got the, um, the spirit mod. I figured both of those would, were, would be kind of fitting. Oh, you need it. We need to maybe, yeah, okay, so we are we are getting jungle tokens here. We are getting inundated with slimes. Ah! Holy, oh, they hurt. Yeah, there's a very real possibility I'm probably just going to put most of my uh, level up points into pure defense over the course of this series. See if I can, um, see if I can just eventually have enough defense that I can tank hits, because 
always felt like you took way too much damage in Terraria. Might just be me, though. Let's see. There's a mod called Friendly NPCs Don't Die that might be useful to you. Yes! I've heard of that one. I probably should have grabbed it. Ooh! Get out of here! Get out of here! You are... You're not goo-friendly. Actually, you are goo-friendly. You're... Well, I guess the opposite. You are the... You are unfriendly. Un Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna wander around. Ignore my commentary for it is stupid. The other thing I should probably do is actually just go underground. I'm, I'm mostly looking for surface, uh, surface caves first, if I can manage it. But it hasn't exactly been forthcoming so far. Am I throwing bubble gum at my enemies? I'm throwing goo! It's shockingly effective. But maybe a little bit on the goofy side of things. Like, as far as early game weapons go, this thing is stupid. It kind of just slamma jams them. See, the Crescent Mod Maker is thinking about nerfing armor and maybe adding skill trees. Dude, that'd be awesome. Like, I I will take whatever whatever gets added, though chances are Desmond the Cobbler has arrived. We're gonna need some more houses, aren't we? Um, it would be interesting to see interesting seeing uh like deeper RPG mechanics in this game because I mean I'm gonna be totally honest it almost I'm not gonna say needs it but this game would be a, a pitting pitting uh, a really fitting uh, platform for like uh, really deep RPG mechanics and it's a bit of a sh surprise a shock that it uh, that RPG mechanics never got like shoehorned horned in because, like, for the amount of uh, gear management, micromanagement, whatever, and, like, classes, it's all in the gear. It'd be kind of nice if it kind of, like, doubled up on both ways. So, yeah, you, you had uh, some features that would last beyond just, uh, you know, based on whatever equipment you've got. That weird backpack of mine does a lot of work. I'm fully ex expecting to die on this trip. Luckily, I've only got two gold. And that's pretty easy to get more of. Ooh. Hmm. I guess I should probably just dive down. I guess I don't take that much damage. I'm going to get slime rain. Well, I'm going to get slime rain, but I'm also slime rain. Probably grab that and come back for the other stuff in a bit. Can't jump that high. Anything else interesting down here? No, it doesn't look like it. There's some interesting stuff over there. I've still got to diagnose why my uh, why my like auto placement is stupid. I'll figure that out later. Let's see. There were our mods that tailor somewhat classes into the game. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, Crescent mod on, which does a fairly decent job, but like, I, I'm talking like official support. So I guess the modded versions allow for a lot more flexibility, because you can kind of pick and choose what kind of broken leveling mod you want to cram on. I picked this one because it didn't have a cap, because uh, I figure if, if shit gets hard, I can, uh, like, if we get to the point where, like, I'm legitimately uh, having difficulty, uh, I can probably just grind a little bit and maybe do okay. There is nothing down there. Um, wow. This hole goes deep. Well, at least there's a chest down here. I guess I should probably kill these things before I try and go down. It's not just my auto placement, it's all auto placement. You have to work with it instead of 
Uh, make it work for you. Yeah, but like, I will have my cursor down like below me and I'll still be mining up, which is really confusing. And then also, like, I can't do, I can't press shift to put down torches anymore. This, this lighting engine. Ooh, sweet house. Oh, also, ooh. Art. Oh, you don't need hammers for those these anymore, do you? Ow. Suckers hurt. Yeah, life crystal. Hey, thank you, Grover, for the uh, sub. Why not use rope? I don't have much rope, and I was hoping to use it in my elevator instead. Lighting glitch is weird. I think it's the overhaul mod. It's trying to make it so it's realistic lighting, so it's based on where where if, uh, where my character's facing. Which makes a lot of sense, but also looks real funky. Uh, because this game's not made for it. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can do much about that. Yeah, hearts are picks. Dude, way back when this game first hit Steam, uh, you had to get a hammer for, for those heart crystals. And I was always the only person with the hammer, so somebody would find a heart crystal and be like, Wander, Wander, I found a heart crystal, come help. And I'd be like, ugh, I don't wanna. I might get the vein mining mod. Uh, between sessions. Oh, is that another heart crystal? There's, there's a hut down there. It looks like. Pop the yellow potion. It will light things up for you. Uh, I don't know how much it's gonna light things up for me though. Ow! What bees? Not sure. Man, I hope I can make a lead pick after this. Actually, is that uh? Is that tungsten? I think that's tungsten. I don't exactly remember the um, the resource names. I don't know why they ever made uh, the diverting types of resources. Probably heal. I don't have that many. Ow. Grab these. Primordial magic. Okay, that's interesting. See, with all these mods, you need the boss checklist mod. I've already got it. Skip lead, go golden tungsten. Or silver or gold pick. I'm just gonna go with whatever I can get, man. A after yesterday's session, like, my standards have become infinitely lower. I used to rush gold. Now I'm just like, man, I'll be happy with, like, one tier up. At least for now. We'll, we'll worry about properly rushing Terraria later when, you know, the universe doesn't hate me. And everything I stand for. Because, I mean, I hope you saw yesterday. Because, uh, shit got weird. I mean, for the most part, freak lightning storms probably aren't going to be that common after this point. Why does it always take so much longer to get the... Well, no, I guess I know exactly why it takes so much longer to get the, the stump. There's a bunch of primordial magic around here. Uh-oh. What is that? Another zombie? There we go. Old leather. Oh, right. Old leather is a uh, an equipment set. I think I have access to, to now. Oh, army in. Ow. I'll just get what tungsten I can. I still don't think I'm going to be able to get enough for a pickaxe. Actually, you know what? Nah, nah. Let's go in here. No, this is just straight up a beehive. I think. What is that? I don't know. I want it. Sharpening station. Ow, what? I don't know if that was a trap or a thing or... Okay, well. Loot all. Oh, band of regeneration? Legendary. Sure. Uh, let's get rid of my meat shield. Or, no, let's hold on to the meat shield, but... Toss the rest. And there's there's a bunch of tungsten bars. And some recall potions. Okay, so li life is maybe going a little bit better for me than I thought I was going to. Get rid of the jungle grass seeds. I don't think I have a use for those. Acorns. Honestly, if I run out of trees, 
I can just do other things. What else do we have? Jungle spores, I think, are useful. I don't, I don't know if the stake shield is helpful. But I'm probably gonna just toss it at this point. Like any other crap that I can get rid of? Red gel. Oh no. Moon glow, I know, is useful. I guess I could get rid of the wooden doors and tables. Well, I need them, but I don't need them that bad. Oh, and we got a friend. I love the fact that the pink glove comes with a confusion effect. It has made my life significantly easier. Okay, so we have a second chest in here, and this entire place is devoid of interesting stuff. That is a chest? No, that's an that's a emptied out chest. Okay, well, there, there's an easy answer. Don't bother. Alright, well, let's just keep chunking down here. We're getting a lot of EXP now that I'm actually, like, fighting things consistently. As opposed to... Oh, that's what I took damage from earlier. I got hit by, um... I got hit by the weird, like, uh, thorns that grow all over the place. Is that... No, that's not a tre... Ow. Well, okay, less ow. Looks like we are starting to find bee territory. Let's use the shine potion. Uh, I swear I used a shine potion earlier, and it didn't do anything. But yeah, I guess I guess I should probably just pop, pop it. Yeah, I guess I'm emitting emitting light. I'm just emitting light very badly. Rich mahogany. Now we've already got a bunch of rich mahogany. I'd actually, if it weren't for the burning, I'd be really tempted to uh to pick up all of this rich mahogany as we go by. My, okay, I can't go down. Let's see, honey dispenser. I'll take what I can. I should probably leave. Uh, do I grab another chest? I could, I should. Drink the swiftness potion. Like, I should probably leave. Shine potions aren't great, but it's better than holding shift to keep the torch at. Yeah, except for that part got disabled for me, so... I don't actually, uh... I can't hold shift to keep the torch out. I should probably go looking for the option to turn that back on. Because, uh... Currently that just turns on the, uh, the predictive mining. Which is less helpful than I thought it would be. I mean, it's not bad, it's just hoping to do other things. Okay, what do we got in here? We got bees... One of those. I just want... Like a teeny little thing to chuck my goo through. Ooh! Yeah, the bee is... The bee. The hornet is concerning. Because those hurt like hell. I'm torn. I should probably just leave to some degree. Wait, how far does this mahogany area go? It's also one of those where, like, I don't have a whole lot of money, so it doesn't really matter if I die. I should probably, uh, next time we get the chance, when I have the money for it. Yeah, so I, I guess I should probably go back. I, I was gonna say, like, um... If I can get the money, I'd like to get the uh, the piggy bank so I can start just saving my cash in there. Yeah, so let's just mine out this vein and then uh, book it home. What was that? I that was a very weird noise. What is this stuff? This is a resource I haven't found yet. Uh, let's get rid of the lenses. I can farm them elsewhere. And I get moon glow seeds. Very helpful. Get rid of blood. Platinum ore! Hey! That's helpful. And unfortunately, we've got another vein over there. I might actually get the vein mining mod. I uh, eh. No, I'd, I'll probably avoid it. I don't know. Vein mining feels a bit cheesy. Even for me. Yeah, while you're in the jungle, try and get some materials for the Amazon. It's a really good starting weapon. Ah. Uh, I'm actually not like... 
I'm not hurting that bad for a, for a weapon, actually. Shockingly, uh... I mean... It, it's probably better than whatever I've got, but, um... I'm actually, like, having a good time with this, this glove. It's got a confusion effect and burning. And the two of those together mean I can kind of just keep enemies off my butt while I do other things. It's a big area over on the left. I, I'm just going to keep exploring there and we'll just see how it goes. Now, how would the vein mining work? I believe vein mining is once you've hit the vein, like you, you mine through one block in the vein and it turns the whole thing into loose ore, which is actually pretty helpful. Under has a cheese limit. I... My cheese limit is a... It's a sliding scale. Some days some days I'm, like, down to cheese. Some days I'm just like, I just kind of want to play normal. I, I think there's a difference between cheesing a pre-existing mechanic and modding the mechanic entirely out. Um, for me, I like, I like taking a pre-existing mechanic and breaking it, or uh, exploiting a, a issue in the game programming it. You know, be the... AI being criminally stupid, or... You know, platforming things, or any number of... Any number of whatevers. Oh, you know, that reminds me. Let's just get Firefriend in here. Also, Firefriend does a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna let Firefriend kill things for me. See, this is perfect. This, this is actual cheese. Because they can't get to me. I'm, I'm locked away in this tiny tiny little hole. Well, Fire Friend just murders these guys. Perfect. I hope the distinction makes sense. I'm trying to be at least mildly consistent with myself in life. It's harder than you'd think. I thought that it was telling me weird messages for a second. I got confused. Okay. Yeah, I can get over here. Or lead. That's it. Exploding a bug that lets you jump indefinitely. Our way to not have to fight like fire friend. Yeah. Whereas like, ah, what's a good example? Um. I guess it really depends on the game mechanic. If he, if you start mining out stuff like just straight up the actual mining section of Terraria. Uh, it feels like I have gotten rid of the thing that made this game fun for me, which is stupid because like, let's be honest here, mining through uh, mining through the world, I wouldn't exactly say is peak content. In fact, I'd say it's comparatively kind of bland. Uh, is that honey? Have we found the hive? We might have found the hive already. Yeah, we found the hive already. I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't know if we can fight the... the queen bee already, but also that would be a bad move. I use a yo-yo, that works too. I'd like to use a yo-yo. I haven't found a good one, though. Oh, yeah. Jumping to throw... Much better idea. Uh... Hello, bee! Well, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, fire friend over there where he can actually do some damage. Unfortunately, he does not have much of an aggro radius, but I can summon him wherever I want. So I'm just gonna summon him where he can do the most amount of damage in a short period of time. Oh, hey, I leveled up. I'm also taking damage. Uh oh, I got poisoned. Don't know when I got poisoned. Oh, I see. Let me see. I don't know what this glowing ore is. I'll go for it as well. Let's see. Queen bee time. Dude, I like... Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to that, whatever that is. We're gonna need uh, a better setup than this. Put fire friend in here. Oops. 
Come on, fire friend. Don't, don't poop out on me. I'll have to figure out how to get a bunch of honey so I can uh, put it down for extra healing. I, really, I should just get more healing at some point. That's demonite, I believe. Ah, yep. I thought you only found demonite elsewhere. I, I guess I'm wrong. No, right. You do find demonite like anywhere you want. But yeah, as far as far as fighting the queen bee goes, like I want to say nine times out of ten when I fight her, I just get I just get pummeled. Like we've tried it in multiplayer repeatedly, and it just goes bad, like real bad. Empty bucket for collecting honey. I don't have anything of the sort. We'll come back later. What is that? Oh, strange bulb. That strange bulb does, doesn't sol summon Plantera, right? There's a different strange bulb, right? Okay, good. Ah. Okay, there we go. It'd be pretty funny if I got, like, uh, if I summoned Plantera pre-hard mode and it's just like, well, I'm dead. Really found her the fourth easiest boss. I think it's because, um, the Queen Bee is one of the first hard mode bosses you fight. And so almost always when I fight her, it's... Okay, it's Plantera's bulb. Uh, whenever you fight the Queen Bee, it's, like, really early on in hard mode. Potentially, you you don't have, like, a full set of good gear, especially if you haven't been farming. Um, and so when I when I uh, play with my friends, especially, because I've always done Terraria series and multiplayer. Okay. Um, we usually go into the, the bee fight wildly undergeared, and sometimes without even, like, max health. Uh, is that a bunch of ore over there, or is that stone? Can't tell. Let's see. Uh, but so she usually kicks our ass and then we just get wrecked. Oh, she's pre-hard mode, pre-skeleton. Okay, yeah, I'm getting my timing wrong. Re okay, fair warning, it's been a while since I've played Terraria, and I don't remember the uh, the exact process. Okay, so she is pre-hard mode. Um, pre... pre-skeleton. Yeah, so that, I mean, that only reinforces my argument a little bit better. I almost always fight her when I'm wildly undergeared. Yeah, do not do not listen to me as an expert on this game. Most of what I remember of this game is shitting around with bird and not actually uh, any of the specifics. Is that is that a giant freaking um? Is that a giant freaking? F I am on fire. I should probably heal before I get completely wrecked here. I don't know what that sound effect is. Everything is scary. Yo! Okay, I want this. There's a detonator there. But if I avoid the detonator, we'll be okay. Okay, Queen Bee, Eye of Cthulhu. Skeltron, Wall of Flesh. Really? I I swear Queen Bee is, like, the second or third you want to fight. Like, after the Eater of Worlds, probably. Have I opened the boss checklist yet? I don't even know where it is. But yeah, this is... this Part of the reason why I've never finished a series on this game is because I'm always shitting around in it. I, I've never actually taken it seriously. Uh, and to some degree, I have a hard time wanting to uh, to take it totally seriously. 
Okay, what do we have? Let's get rid of the puffballs. I'm gonna get rid of the detonator. Annoying mud. Man eater bulb. Sharpening station. Some of these are probably more helpful than others. I got the shuriken. I should probably get rid of that. Oh, uh. That's a lot of rope. Doesn't help me as much as I'd like here. I guess let's burn through all of our wood for more platforms. I need the stinger. I get rid of the charcoal. I've got a silly amount of that cactus I don't need. This lighting situation is wacky. I don't like it. Okay, so where'd all that... Oh, that's thorium ore. It's not a small amount of thorium either. And I'm near death. And poisoned? Okay, there we go. I hate traps. I love using them, in, especially in like D&D, for example, but they are mean. I really should probably go back at this point, though. We'll, we'll come back at a, later, at a later point. Oh. I just keep finding more ore to go after. As making my life harder. Grab those. Luckily, we don't have any murder horses hanging hanging out around in here. Okay, yeah. What are the earthquakes, dude? I have no idea. Everything is a mystery to me at this point. Is that an ore type, or is that no? That's just random garbage. We should probably just take one of my potions of recall, especially because I've got yeah, I've got like seven gold. I could get a piggy bank at this point. I say as I continue adventuring this direction. Fire friend. Come on, fire friend. Hmm. I have no idea what the earthquakes are here. Man-eater scares me. Hopefully Firefriend can go go fight him now that I've made the hole a bit wider. What? Okay. He's aggroed. That's a bunch of amethyst right there. Earthquakes means a worm's headed my way. I mean, these are pretty substantial earthquakes. My assumption is the earthquakes were something a little bit more important. I mean, unless it was like Eater of Worlds level. Whoop. Stay away from that. Where am I taking this damage from? Like, am... yeah, that earthquake. That does not seem like a, a worm's on its way. And if it is, I'm going to be impressed. Oh, that is close. Man eaters are the bane of my existence sometimes. Hello. Oh yeah, I leveled up. I should probably do something about that. Okay, lead ore and amethysts. Not well. I could always get rid of the mud. Mud. Oh, it is a big worm. Eater of worlds, big. Good. Uh, let's see. I've got a shit ton of mud. I might be able to use that for something. Bronze candle. Yeah, let's get rid of the bronze candle. I have no idea if it's useful. Underground token. That's new. I guess I could get rid of one of these chests. Let's get rid of the IV chest. 
Okay, and let's get out of here. At this point, I really can't, like, uh, cram anything else in here. And I can always come back at a later date. Uh, let's see. So speaking of, I now have a mod list. Uh, it should make its way into, uh, into the YouTube description. Uh, but for those of you watching live, if you guys want to see what mods I've got rolling, quick stacked a nearby chest. Sort. I've still got a shit ton of things I should probably deal with. Um, but if you guys are if you guys are watching on uh, streams, you can actually uh, figure out what I'm using. Yeah, I want to make the vine whip. If I can get that, that'll make my life a lot easier. So I'll probably head straight back to the jungle and keep making things. Ah, uh, what is the range on crafting tables? Like, what can I pull from? What is this? Amazon. Oh, I could make it. Okay, rare, chance, frostburn, poison it on fire. Extra damage? Sure, why not? I'm gonna probably switch it out for the axe. At least for now. Put the sharpening station down. Can I, like, use it? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Cloth. Spiked gauntlets. A lot of melee damage. What's required for them? Feral claws and some stingers. Extremely weak knockback. Right click to dash through enemies. Combo is a chance to poison enemies. Well, I've already got this, so we might as well try it. Probably not going to be too interested in it. Okay, well, we've got the merchant upstairs. We've also got some other characters to talk to, so let's talk to you. Sell this. Should have sold that immediately. Annoying mud. Well, it has no value, unfortunately. Man eater bulbs. What was I gonna buy? I was gonna buy the piggy bank. That's arguably the most important thing. I could grab. Is there a UI scale option in this game? Interface. Ah, UI scale. There we go. Because, yeah, it's just a bit small for me. Okay, that's much better. Oh, this is this going to be on YouTube? Pretty much everything I ever do ends up on YouTube in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Um. I'm going to dig up these before I build too much. I'm going to try and move the uh, anvil and the furnace over. I'd swear they used to have a longer crafting range. But I guess it could be wrong. Or maybe maybe it doesn't wirelessly pull from chess anymore. Or maybe it never did. And I'm just getting this mixed up with another game. Let's grab what ore I can. Victicide? No. Lead. I mean, honestly, let's just grab every ore that we've got. What's this? Succulent cactus. Wolf from shards. I should probably organize my inventory a bit better. Okay, we have some options. We got a bunch of wolf from... Or maybe it's pulled if I have the chest open? Because, yeah, now it's now it's certainly pulling from the, uh, from the list. Okay. Let's make every bar that we can. It's less tungsten than I thought it was going to, going to get. I got the lead, lead bars, which I guess I don't need as many of now that I'm thinking about it. We got some like heavy workbenches and stuff. Okay, it's pulled if you have the chest open. Ah, that's incredibly helpful actually. What game was I playing that had the like really ridiculous like range? I don't think I will remember. All right, uh, let's see what else can I make. Copper. Don't know if I have much use for all this copper at this point. I guess I could always start making, like, copper blocks and whatnot and make my entire house out of metal. 
Okay, so we've got some harmonica bard class stuff. And silver bar. Oh, that's just alchemy. Slime staff. Summons a baby slime to fight for you. Nah, I like fire friend. Money trough. I could do it. Oh, that's... I shouldn't do those. Ezor. You need a poison. Is that... Oh, yeah. We're still very much in the, like... Boss token crafting stuff. I, I want to stay away from those for a while. Okay, we have a Rose Slime staff. Altar of Creation. That sounds a bit much. Bunch of flails. I don't know if the flails are, are good in this version. I heard they got an upgrade, but it could be wrong. Let's see. Defense, max life. Be interesting to try some of those. So Wolfram Pickaxe is 35% pickaxe power. Tungsten. Where's... Do I have any better... Why is the Wolfram set so high up? I might uh, I might get rid of the Wolfram bits. They're not terrible, but they're not necessary for me. I guess I could actually replace my, my copper hammers with the Wolfram armor items. Whatever. Okay. I do have platinum though. Where's where's platinum on this list? That's lead. That's tungsten. Ah, platinum. I also had thorium that we blasted out, but I guess I can't use it. Or is it not in my inventory? Where did I put the thorium bars? Oh, thorium ore. I bet we need a better better furnace to actually deal with those. Let's see, Altar of Creation is for spirit crafting. Okay, I'll plunk it down. Let's see what I can make with it. Uh, let's open this thing back up. I guess that has a shorter range than I thought it was going to. Okay. I just might not be close enough to it. Well, looks like platinum's the maximum amount I can do. So let's let's go platinum pickaxe for now. Did we get a good one? Massive. Curse while holding the item. I'm gonna make another one. Not sure if it's better. But it feels like being cursed while holding an item is a bad idea. Okay, and then we're down to tungsten. I'll just make a tungsten axe. I should probably make some tungsten armor now that I'm thinking about it, but I'll probably end up making light, uh, lead. I don't think I even have enough for a uh, full set of lead. Okay. Well, the lead pants aren't worth much. Most of this isn't worth worth much. I'm probably just going to keep cheesing through things then. Actually, anything else I immediately have to have here. Got stars in a bottle. I was hoping I could find some more, like, permanent lighting sources. But unfortunately, purple torches uh, and pink torches will set things on fire, too. So I guess that's right out. Uh, and otherwise it's got like explosives and lightning rod. Tracks lightning, saves your life. Oh. Okay, that might be a good idea. What does it cost? Just some lead bars. I'm gonna grab one of these. Stick it on top of the house for now. We don't have much flammable, but uh, better safe than sorry. Oh, to make to make thorium bars, you need a spare anvil and ten thorium ore. All right, uh, let's grab the thorium ore. Let's see if I can make another anvil. I've still got some lead lying around, and I'm probably not going to end up using just because I might. Out! What the? Oh, 
left the door open. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, there we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I guess, honestly, the other thing I could do is just deposit all. Well, poops, I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's grab the stuff that we need, don't need. Let's grab the potions, I should probably use some of them. Grenades. I don't know if blood's useful. I should probably actually grab everything that's not immediately used for crafting here. I don't even know... Oh, succulent cactus is for... for fishing. But yeah, I mostly want to make this this my uh, crafting chest. Or smithing. Smithing chest. Do I have any ore hanging out around here? No, but I can toss that in. Okay. I had some other chests. I'm just going to put them over here. Okay. I guess let's just do deposit all and then I'll fig figure it out in reverse. Grab the extra pickaxes because I need need those. Archery. We want the recall potions. Grab some glow sticks. In retrospect, I don't think I need the glow sticks. Anything else in here that I specifically want to pull out? I guess I'll pull that out. And then I can just toss it. Alright, everything is good. We should probably also, uh... I think Desmond's just the hunter, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, whatever. Uh, shop. Hello. Wanna buy my random garbage? Do we have anything else? Nope. Make a bunch of rope coils. That is less rope coils than I thought I was going to be able to make there. And... I just crashed the game. Well, that could be a problem. We do have the cheat menu. I... I know this game auto-saves, I just don't know how often. Well, this is gonna take a bit. <laughs> 